Hey guys, Vikram here, and today I'm going to show you the top 10 features of OSX Yosemite. If you haven't already watched my last video about how to get Yosemite for free on your Mac, you probably should, and there's a video link on the upper right corner right now. Now, the first, uh, first feature that I think was probably the best was the new spotlight search. Now you can search up uh, anything, pretty much. You can search up things like Godzilla, and you can find results in Wikipedia, iTunes, Dictionary, and even on the news. Like if I search up Obama, I can get the Dictionary, um, the Wikipedia. Uh, there's a movie that's coming out in 2016, I guess. I don't really know about the Oh, 2012, released then. And uh, it shows me a lot of things, and it also shows me through my mail and messages. So it added a lot of new things. Uh, and I think I probably will use it a lot more than googling everything and I think that's a really useful feature now the second feature is the new airdrop uh, feature for Mac to o iOS devices before it was only for um, Mac to Mac or a iOS device to an another iOS device now you can do it from an iOS device to a Mac and as you can see here here's my iPad and it appears in my airdrop and I think that's a really cool feature and they finally got it and my third feature is the new calls in OS X now if you have an iPhone you can uh, connect it uh, to your um, Mac automatically and whenever there's a call from your iPhone it will come up on the top here somewhere and you can answer the call directly from your Mac and you can talk and everything and you can also initiate calls through your contacts, calendar, messages, and Safari. So if you want, you could just go on Safari, look up some random uh, like shop or something, and then you can just call them directly from your Mac instead of picking up your iPhone every time. The fourth feature is the new notification center. Uh, you may see this notification center as something really familiar because this is pretty much the exact same one on the new iOS 7 notifications. So uh, I, this has more features to it. Like you can now see like your weather and stocks and everything. And you can also like edit things and put m uh, different notifications and adjust everything. And I think that's really useful because I never use the notification center in uh, Mavericks. And now I'm probably going to use it because it really tells me more things than it did in Mavericks. And now the fifth one, fifth feature is the new Air, no, the new iCloud Drive. It's pretty much, it's like Google Drive and it stores all of your files on your iCloud and so you can access it from like another device or something like that. And I think that's really useful that Apple finally did something similar to Google and made its own. Uh, and so now my sixth one feature is the new mail. They made a new mail UI and everything is new for it. And as you can see, it's more transparent and it just looks a little better. And the biggest feature that came out with it was the new, uh, how it uses iCloud Drive to transfer files. So if you ever want to like send a file over one gigabyte, you can now send it through mail and it'll just send as, I guess, a link. Um, to your iCloud Drive so people can use that and it can also uh, send up to file send files up to 5 gigs so no more going into Google Drive and uploading something and having to share it whatever who with with whoever you want to share it with uh, my seventh yeah seven my seventh feature newest one is the new Safari and this new Safari is really cool. I actually like it because now instead of searching to Yahoo, instead of like you having to like type Google to get into Google, now it directly search searches um, of searches Google for whatever you're gonna type in as the default one, and that's not a big thing, but at least it's there. So um, you the new Safari is very simple, as you can see the. The uh, toolbar at the top is very simple and has barely anything on it. And you can go back and forth and use all the trackpad get gestures on here. And I think it's really useful and it's better than Chrome because I did a speed test on it and turns out like the speeds was a, were like 
0.1 more than Chrome. So I guess Apple's trying to beat Chrome and become the best browser. Okay, right, and so now the eighth new feature is the new communication and handoff. So if you're gonna um, do something on your Mac, I'm like on your iPhone or iPod and you're like texting someone and then when you open your Mac it automatically knows that you switch devices and so like messages will appear directly and you can start typing um, from your Mac so that you don't have to like pick up your iPhone while using this and set everything is in one like one device every time and other things that might switch will be like mail like it come a mail you're composing on your iPhone will come directly on your Mac and it really, all the devices communicate to each other and hand off like a team. And now my ninth feature is the new messaging uh, app. Well, the same messaging app, but now they include different things like, uh, now they include, mm, get back. All right, now it includes like ways to text to someone. So now you can SMS, not directly to an iPhone, but to anything pretty much you can now SMS to Android so instead of um, having to only SMS from your Mac to someone with an iPhone you can now do it to any phone and lastly is the new design that is probably the best feature here in my opinion because it just looks really beautiful because everything's more transparent and all the apps are transparent and it just it's different and it looks really good in my opinion and I'll just open up calendar to show you changes and things. And you can see that everything's a little more different. And I kind of like that. And the transparency was a big thing that they did. They included it in a lot of things too. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you liked this video. And if you know any great features that you found out by yourself, comment them in this video. And remember to subscribe, like, and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.